Hello guys, our topic for today is Motor Control 101 with Multiple Start-Stop Circuit. A multiple start-stop circuit is needed and very important, especially in the plant that is very large area, such as long conveyor with hundreds of feet long. It is not safe and convenient and time-consuming if we only use one start-stop button. To make the system more safe and convenient, post button can be installed in every operator system. Let's do it and help me out. Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to wire multiple start-stop circuit. Let's get started. But first, we'll, we will do our lockout tagout. To make us safe. Off. Oh. Okay, next. We are going to connect uh, auxiliary contact and I'm going to show you how to put auxiliary co contact. We have two auxiliary contact here. Press this one. See this down wheel here? I'm going to put it here. Now it's lock. The next one. To remove this auxiliary contact, you just press this, this down wheel also. To put it just put this two in here. Let's do it. Now it's locked. Okay. The next thing we're gonna do, we're going to follow this schematic diagram. Anyway, I put marking to make it easier for me to wire. You see this one, line one. I put this terminal block one, two, three, four. Anyway, this is bridge. What I'm saying for bridge is it is connected each other. I will show you. See this one? Here, from our control circuit breaker, going to our 24 volts power supply. From the positive terminal of our power supply going to line one. For the negative supply for our 24 volts. Going to line four. So now we already have supply from our 24 volts power supply going to our terminal block. So this one. So from from line one here. Going to our stop post button here. Out of the stop post button, 
going to remote remote stop pause button the remote stop pause button is here I already wire for the stop 1 and 2 for the start 3 and 4 so I will going to connect to 1 I will just use wire nut to join it from our 2 going to our start button is going here again going to our start button from our start button going to our A1 of our relay of the magnetic contactor here A2 is going to overload relay. Overload relay normally close here. NC. And from NC going to line 4. Going to here. Now we're going to try if it works because it's already complete circuit from line 1 going to line 2 for the first round. Let's try to start if this motor will run. Okay, it's run but we don't have yet a latching circuit. And for the other start button, we are going to connect to 4. Okay, now let's try if it will start here. Okay, this one is already done. What we need is we just need a auxiliary contact, the latching contact. This is normally open. Okay, we still need one here going to normally open of our magnetic contactor. The open is here. This time, it should latch. When you are going to push it here, the start button, you can press here the stop button. That is multiple start stop. If I'm going to press the start here, I can stop it here. So 
even though when you are 100, 100 feet away, you can still start. See this one? You go to the other location, stop it. So that is multiple start, start stop. Now the next one is we're going to connect the indication light. From line one, going to our, going to the normally open. From normally open, going to our lights, start, and from lights, going to line four, here. When I'm going to start, this indication light for run button should light. Okay, when you're going to stop, it should stop. It should uh, go away. Okay, next is we're going to connect normally close for our stop indication light. From line one. Going to our normally close. From our normally close, going to lights. Lights. From our two of lights going to four. Two of lights going to four. Here. Okay. When I'm going to start, this one should go away. I'm going to stop. Start. Stop. Hope you like this video. If you like this video, please subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.